Hi, today we're going to see how to create a broken glass text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now make sure the foreground color is black, since I want my text to be black. So select the text tool, left click to create a new text box. And now I'm going to type my text. So here it is, Control A to select all text. And now I'm going to reduce the size to 400, press enter. So here it is, and now select the alignment tool. Left click on horizontally, and then vertically. So here I think it's too much, so select the text tool again, left click, control A to select all text. And now I'm going to change it to 350. So here it is, reselect the alignment tool. Now let's align it horizontally and then, and then vertically, make sure the align is relative to the image. And then right click, layer to image size. If you want to remove these squares, just select another tool. And now I'm going to add some guides here. So go to image, guides, new guide by percent. The direction is horizontal and the position is 50%, press OK. And now let's add another guide, go to image, Guide, new guide by percent, and then change the direction to vertical, and then the position is 50%, press OK. So here we're going to use this place here to create our broken glass effect. So you can also, for example, if you want to change the point where you want to start the effect, you can just drag guides. So here from the top part, and then from the left side, so here to create another, for example, center line here. So now select the Paths tool, go to View, make sure the Snap to Guides here is checked. So I'm going to click on the Game window. So now if I click to create a path here, and then I can move it. As you can see, it snaps. So I'm going to snap it to the center. And now I'm going to create the path here, so like this. And now in order to close this path, Keep the control key down and then left click on the first one so here like this and then press enter to make selection and now we are on our broken text layer so control x to cut and then control v to paste so as you can see it's floating selection so we're going to paste it on a new layer so click on this icon so here it is and now if i hide this part so here it is you can also for example cut by going to edit and then cut so here's control x and now reselect the broken text this one here and now as you can see we are still on the paths tool so now i'm just going to move this part here so here like this so here and now press enter and then just as before control x and then control v so here it's floating selection click on this icon to create a new layer from it so here it is the second part and now I'm going to bring down the other path here. So here, make sure to select the broken text. So here it is. And now left click here to activate path and then press enter to make selection from the path. And then control X, control V. So here, just as before, then reselect the broken text. And then I'm going to make one like this, press enter. And then we are still on the broken text. Control X, Control V. So here we select the broken text. So here press Enter, and then Control X, Control V. And then we select this one. So, so for now I just need to. So here, for example, I will leave it here. Press Enter, and then Control X, Control V. So it's floating selection and then click on this icon. So here it is. So here are different parts we have. So now just select the move tool. And now we are just going to move each part. So press the plus on your keyboard to zoom in. So for example, so here's this part. I'm just so make sure and then go to view and check the snap to guides here. And then for example, I will just move it here like this. Now let's say this part here, so it's this one, I'm going to move it so here and the upward, so here and now this one, so it's this one here, 
So this one here, I'm going to move it. This one. And then this one here. And then the last one. So here it is. And now press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now we're going to change the background layer color. So click on the background. I'm going to select two colors. So for example, I will select the yellow color, this one here. So here's the HTML notation. Press OK. And now let's select an orange color. So here I'm going to select this one. So here's the HTML notation. And press OK. Select the gradient tool. The gradient is FG to BG RGB and the shape is linear. And now I'm just going to trace, to trace sorry, my gradient. So here it is and I'll press enter. And now press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. So here, so as you can see, we have some lines here. I don't know why, but it's due to this, to the original text layer, to this one. So in order to remove these lines here, right click to make selection from the original text. It's this one here. So this one here, alpha to selection. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And then I'm going to hide this one here. And now I'm going to reduce this selection. So go to select, shrink. I'm going to reduce it by two pixels, press OK. And now I'm going to click on these two squares here to change the foreground and background colors to black and white. And now I'm just going to drag the black color so here it is, and now if I press the plus key in my keyboard to zoom in, you don't have those lines here. So here it is. It's my screen your keyboard to zoom out. And now go to select none to remove selection. So I'm going to select the top layer, right click new from visible. And then let's remove the guides, go to image guides, remove all guides. So here it is. That's how you can create the broken glass text effect in game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.